So, good morning. Happy Monday. Today is October 17th, 2016, and we are moving right along to Lesson 2.7, Lesson 7 in Module 2. Today's learning goal is to be able to relate area models to the standard algorithm when multiplying whole numbers. Does that sound familiar, that learning goal? Yes. Yeah. It sounds just like what we did last week, doesn't it? We did area models. We figured out how the area models are related or the same as standard algorithm. Okay, so today we're just going to do that, but then add one more thing that's a little bit different. Okay, so we're taking baby steps here. But first, let's talk about the problem of the day. Now, today we have this problem to think about. 4,519 times 326. How is this problem different than the problems we did last week? Take a look at the problems in your notebook from last week and compare. What's the difference between this problem and the problems we did last week? So the, the difference between this problem and what we did last week is last week we did three digits times two digits at the most, right? That's the most we stretch our brains. And today we have four digits times three digits. I love how Arhan said, that doesn't necessarily mean it's harder. It might take more time, but it's not harder, right? Are there more parts to it? Yes. Does that mean we have more opportunities to make fabulous fails? Yes. So does that mean we have to be especially careful and especially organized with our math writing? But does it mean it's harder? No. no. Okay. So, but before we multiply, let's estimate the factors so that we have a general idea of like what zone our answer should be in. Okay, so we know that the first factor, 4,519, is pretty close to what number? Like if I want to round it to the nearest thousands, what would it be? Aditya? Uh, 5, yeah, I, that's pretty close to 5,000. When I round the factors, I always like to round it to the leftmost place value. So in that case, this factor, 326, I would round it to the what place? Hundreds place. So 326 rounded to the hundreds place is what, Sporty? 300. So now that we've rounded the factors, can we estimate, we could say 5,000 times 300 is how much? What's 5 times 3? 15. And how many factors of 10 do I have? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many zeros do I need to add? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when I add the commas, I like to count from the right and go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I know that my answer needs to be somewhat in the range of 1,500,000, right? So after I multiply, if I end up with a number like 152, am I in the zone? No. If I end up with like 0 and 32 ten, 32 hundredths, am I in the zone? No. No. So estimating first gives you a range so that when you solve, you can look back and you can say, oh, my, is this reasonable? Okay. Good, so we know that if our answer is somewhere in this zone, 1,500,000, then we're probably pretty good to go. If I want to put 4,519 up here on my area model, how could I split up that number? How could I split up that number? Sporty? I could say 4,000 plus 500 plus 10 plus 9. Good. Have you guys noticed when we split up the number, what is this called? Expanded form. Yeah, and that's why we need to learn expanded form so we can do stuff like this. Now, of course, every, everywhere there's an addition sign, I can split up my area model, right? Good. Okay. Now, on this side, I have 326. How might I want to split that up? Roni? 300, 300 plus 20, 20 plus, six. plus 6. And everywhere there's an addition sign, of course, I will draw. Okay. Now, can I find the area of each individual section? Yes. Yeah. Is this exactly the same as what we did last week? Mm -hmm. Just more, right? So is it harder? No. no, it's just more. But I will caution you, because there are more spaces, more squares that we're finding the area of, does that mean we have more chances to make fabulous fails? Yes. And does that mean we have more things to add together? Yes. And when we add those together, do we maybe have more chances to make fabulous fails? Yeah. So we have to be extra what? Careful. Careful. We have to pay attention to be extra precise. Okay, remember that's one of the mathematical practices. Are we precise when we do math work? Okay, let's go ahead and find the area of this rectangle first. What are the dimensions of this particular rectangle? Ben? Um, I'll make this bigger for now so that we can see. Uh, 
4,000 times 300. And we can use our math facts to know that 4 times 3 is equal to what? 12. 12. And how many factors of 10 do I have? This dish? 5. 5. So I can add 5 zeros. So the product of those, or the area of this small rectangle is 1,200,000. Okay? So go ahead and let's find the areas of all the other rectangles. So once again, we see that the area model corresponds exactly to the standard algorithm. Okay, and the rows correspond because of whichever factor it has in common. Do you guys see that? Okay. Now we know that our answer of 1,473,194 is reasonable because it's very close to the estimate that we made before. Okay?